All right. So peace and blessings. All praises to the Most High. This morning, I'm going to talk real quick about another incident that happened in Wynn, Arkansas. Uh, Wynn, Arkansas is located in Cross County, which has a population of about 8,000 people. Uh, and of that population uh, of Wynn, Arkansas, 8,000 people, 75% of the people are white and only 22% are black. But this disturbing incident, once again, has no national news coverage. If it was not for the family member of this person uh, who reached out to me, then I would not have any knowledge of it. I've once again scoured and scrubbed the internet for any article relating to uh, this individual. And the only thing I found was this individual's obituary, uh, which you see here. Uh, you see Mr. Lance Alex Perry, uh, born December the 22nd, 1973, and deceased. October the 30th, 2024. And as you see, his obituary is very brief. It says Lance Alex Perry, 50 of Wynn, Arkansas, passed away Wednesday, October the 30th, 2024, in Wayne, Wynn, Arkansas. Uh, he was born December the 22nd, 1973, in Wynn, Arkansas to Larry Perry and Bernice McCray. And then it goes on to describe, you know, or, or list his relatives. Now, <laughs> the reason, of course, that I'm talking about Lance Perry because Lance Perry was allegedly found suspended in the air from a tree. And we all know what that means in on an, an abandoned property owned by this man and i couldn't even find this man's first name he's just listed as d west but d west is the sheriff of cross county now of course this is allegedly i was told this uh by um Fan, oh, one family member and also another person who is close to the situation that he was found allegedly suspended in the air from a tree on the property of the sheriff of the town mr d west now also people have told me that uh mr Wynn, like uh, similar to our brother denoris richardson down there in Sheffield, Alabama, had always been in and out of trouble uh, with the legal system. Now, it could be of merit or it could be unmerited as if they, you know, were targeting him. Nevertheless, I don't know uh, all the particular charges or anything that he's had in his life, but it was told to me, allegedly, that he had started a lawsuit against the sheriff office now consequently in comparison with the brother denoris richardson in alabama he had also started a lawsuit against the county sheriffs what have you so this eerily mirrors our brother denoris richardson's case now this once again this is very vague information even the family member had trouble uh getting some of the details so in these small towns as you know we have a big factor of intimidation as with the story of tremaine white in liberty mississippi uh, which happened i uh, think that was in october and so this happened october the 30th about two weeks ago and no national news coverage of the situation is even circulating. 
nothing. And the only thing I found out about the city of Arkansas, the city of Wynn, Arkansas. Wynn, Arkansas has been the subject of controversy in recent years, but also uh, the subject of controversy in years past. Now, most recently, uh, what I see here is once again in October, October the 2nd, 2012, it says that um, four football players, some of these football players were white, attempted to inch Elward, a 14-year-old black student who was on the football team. Now, this happened on October 2nd, 2012. Um, and they said that the 14-year-old boy was dragged by a noose and they attempted to suspend the young man in the bathroom, but somebody walked in and told on the young male. Now, I don't know what happened uh, with this case. Um, there's a petition on change.org that um, wanted to have the young man charged with attempted murder, M word. And um, they, they, the school should face a law lawsuit. Uh, this was an act of racial violence. Um, now this happened in 2012. Now, and I and I vaguely remember the story, but this story once again quickly died down because looking at the city of Wynn and the sheriff office, I couldn't even find a website for the sheriff office. Um, the most I found was a couple of pictures and articles on Facebook for this this town. Now, also, um, one of the articles that came up was, again, they called it the Win Inching L Word of 1892. And in this, it's listed in the Encyclopedia of Arkansas. And this article says that on 1892, an unidentified African American male. Now, of course, this is 1892. We're talking about 136 years ago. But as you see, if students are doing this on October the 12th, 2012, and then a man is found suspended in the air from a tree on October the 30th, 2024. This spirit is still prevalent in the town. And this narrative goes on June 29, 1892, an unidentified African-American man was apparently inched Elward in Wynn, Cross County for, what do you think? What do you think he was lynched for? Y'all tell me in the comments, but I'll go ahead and say it. For allegedly, allegedly assaulting a white girl <laughs> uh, and they're talking about the New York Sun reported that the girl was black and the mob was made up of African Americans but there was a slightly different story made by uh, the Forest City Town um, and they said that the unified, identified black man allegedly tried to assault a young white female that morning. Uh, they're talking about the two were found in a closet. Now, once again, I I can't imagine. Once again, I know there's some some pervs out there, but I can't imagine this young man doing that. But in 1892. Now this is like this is on their encyclopedia. Like this is um on their on their archives, just like the article that I read um, you know, yesterday about the famous inching 
L words in Decatur, Alabama. So this is an American history. Uh, this is American tradition that has somehow begun to resurface in these towns. Now, Arkansas is one of those southern backwood states, let's just be honest. And all you all may remember uh, the corruption that came out of Mena, Arkansas, where the Clintons were from. If you never researched Mena, Arkansas and the Clintons and how corrupt it is and this probably is one of those small towns I've never heard of. If you ever heard of Wynn, Arkansas, then let me know. But uh, it's amazing to me once again that this man was found quickly, found quickly, quickly put in the ground, already put in the ground as you see the obituary, but he was found allegedly on the property of the sheriff of the town allegedly and so rest in peace to our brother lance perry if anybody has information about this feel free to call 919-587-7782 or email taylor publishing house at gmail.com but there's evidently a, a an enactment of this one a uh, picture that was sent to me where they said that we are taking America back one eager inward at a time. So um, this is definitely, once again, disturbing, especially once again in the little towns where there's no oversight, there's no, there's no, uh, advocate there's nobody to run to um as you heard the the young lady say uh, about henderson north carolina and so once again we take no thought take no part in the works of darkness but whether we expose them ephesians 5 and 11 uh but once again my condolences to uh, the pair family feel free to reach out if you I want more information shared upon this story, but the details, once again, are very vague. Allegedly, a 51-year-old Lance Perry had a history with the Cross County or the Wynn, Arkansas uh, Police Force, Sheriff Office, and Law Enforcement. He eventually decided to sue them and then ends up suspended in the air from a tree. In the, uh, in the Sheriff Office. Uh, not the sheriff's office, I'm sorry, but behind the sheriff's, uh, an abandoned house that the sheriff allegedly owned. So, uh, if anybody has more details on this story, please feel free to reach out. Peace and love. Y'all have a blessed day.